Hello everyone, my name is Chanel Nkwama and I am the Director of Operations here at uh, Path Family Solutions uh, Center in Los Angeles. Have you ever wondered about how people end up living on the streets? Uh, no access to the basic necessities at all. Um, have you ever wondered how um, and if people make it out of homelessness? Uh, today, I'll be uh, informing you all about what homelessness is, the facts, the causes, the effects, becoming homeless, and methods America has uh, taken to attempt to resolve this um, largely urban problem. Uh, by the end of my speech, uh, the audience will be informed about the root causes of homelessness in the United States. Homelessness is everywhere. Uh, and it is a prevalent issue caused by structural constraints that exist in all parts of America, specifically affecting uh, minority, minority groups. Homelessness is generally defined as um generally defined as people who lack a fixed, regular, and adequate nighttime residence, basically a person who has no consistent place uh, to lay their head. Um, homeless people do not fit into one general category description. Uh, they vary in, in size, location, um, color, um, but essentially uh, this person do not um, uh, this person does not have um, access to uh, basic needs and necessities such as housing, adequate income, health care, and chronic so homelessness. Well, let me enlighten you. Uh, chronic homelessness is one of the four types of homelessness. Uh, it is defined as people who have experienced homelessness repeatedly while struggling with a disabling uh, condition, such as serious mental illness, substance use disorder, or physical disability. Uh, the cause of chronic homelessness run as deep as the lack of effectively receiving appropriate continuing care, social isolation, poverty, um, and extensive history of mental Ill illness. When people think about homeless circ homelessness circumstances, uh, the first thought is sheltered homelessness versus unsheltered homelessness. Uh, sheltered homelessness defines is defined or refers to living in homeless shelters while unsheltered homelessness is the opposite. We tend to forget about the four different types of homelessness. Um, we have transitional homelessness, episodic homelessness, chronic homelessness, as stated earlier, um, and hidden homelessness. Transitional homelessness is a state of homelessness that is a direct result of a major life change or a catastrophic event. Uh, then there's episodic homelessness where people are currently unhoused or experience at least three periods of homelessness within the last 12 months. Those who confront the realities of chronic homelessness usually experience four periods of homelessness within a calendar year without a home.